Like the biggest thing is like these artists they don't want to invest in themselves. Like you know what I mean? Niggas are scared. Like, like, like certain artists that certain artists when they put in work in and they're consistent and you be doing shows and shit like that and then they might they might do a show or whatever and they they they, they miss I right, cool. Like that that happens. But if it's an artist consistently like oh no showing and last minute niggas get tied up and shit like those are the niggas that you you can't really do no type of work with because at the end of the day like. That's why you, really what it is is that like, sometimes you can't always depend on other artists to go perform your hits. You feel me? I've been learned that a long time ago because it's like people be busy, people be going through shit. Like you said, they're not as serious as you. Right, you know what I'm Well, they scared to perform. Whatever the case may be, you can't be like, well, you're not a hit. I'm going to still go perform my song. I'm going to perform my, my part of it and go into my next journey. Like that don't make no sense. I've seen bad artists. I can it's artists that's around me that I've been molding that I feel like they great artists, but they still never perform. And they, I feel like deep down inside they scared, bro. They scared to actually shine, my nigga. They might be a good ghostwriter or a good they sound good and shit. Acting like they wanna do it. But all these years, bro, you don't you, your Instagram don't even reflect that you an artist. You out here promoting other other artists. Like other shit and other artists. Like, Get the fuck out of here. That ain't real, honey. Well, you, you ain't even promoting yourself. You dig what I'm saying? Word, go get a regular job. <laughs> a regular Do something, job. my nigga. Like, stop, stop playing with this rap shit. You feel me? Right, shit ain't right. Not just saying nothing wrong with it. Not That's why it's oversaturated. You got a lot of those niggas throwing their music online. You know what I'm saying? And, and fucking the game up, you know what I mean? Leave this shit for the artists. Let the artists do them and then y'all, y'all go do what y'all do, you feel me? What about artists that's like they don't really care about the culture, they don't care about the black people as a whole, or they put poison like in the music and they and like you know they try to actually dumb us down instead of awake us. I don't listen to nothing I can't learn. Like, if, I, if I can't learn from it, if I can't, if I can't, if I can't apply some type of knowledge, or skill, I'm not, I'm not bothering with it, bro, because that's, that's programming. Like, we've already been programmed enough. Like, you understand what I'm saying? How do you take advantage of your programming? So you gotta actually say that you, in a sense, that you do oppose if a nigga's doing that, because that's how they get in their bag. They actually poison it. The, the, through the music, you right, feel me? Comes so, up, you, so you in a way, it's, it's, right. it's bigger than you can't just say, oh yeah, because a person's true. getting a bag, I'm not mad. Nah, my nigga, they poisoning what, what, what we, what we in our area, yeah, you, you know right. what I'm saying? In a sense, making it, saturating the market with that type of shit that's and true. making it for so our real shit, listen, like, you know what I'm saying? Our responsibility as artists to promote what we do. You understand what I'm saying? That's how we, we fight in that world. That's the world that we fight in. When I talk about shit shit up, we gonna break shit up. That's what I'm talking about. Righteous take it by force. I'm talking about that's the world that I'm talking Exactly. You know what I'm exactly. Do these other artists realize that? Do they realize what side are they on? 
Some people think that they this and that, bruh. The way you rap, I can't tell. You don't say nothing. You're not, you know what I'm saying? Everything you say, it sound like everybody else. Like, or yeah. that drug, I got a question. persona, and lifestyle you, that they not living. I got a question. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it real. Everybody's talking about chicks that they ain't listen. fucking, bricks that they ain't selling. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, you got niggas, you know what I mean? Like, come on. You know what I mean? As a person is lies by accident. They don't know it's a lie. They think it's the truth. But you know it's a lie. Are they lying? Listen, they don't know that they lying. They know that they lying, bro. How, do, how, they, how they don't because know that they lying? you might think something is true and it's actually No, whatever they say that they didn't do in their conscious, they know that. No. no. They, no. So they know. Everybody, so they, they so justify. They might say, stupid. I got a Lambo, but really they saying that's what they want. You don't have a Lambo, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's get technical. Now, you can say you want a Lambo. But that's not what they're saying. We could we could go into all areas, like you know, like you say. What about artists? When you see a lot of um, youth getting black youth getting killed by cops, and then these artists saying they don't care. All they care about is their wrists and their gold and their jewelry and their cars. That's I can't support those niggas. Those niggas, is, those niggas is fool, man. You know what I mean? Like that's not that's not right. Cause y'all gotta stop supporting that shit, yo. Everybody out there gotta stand up and say, yo, we gonna support King T, eight thousand. Because they out there spitting real lyrics, bro. Spitting stuff that could uplift us. Shit that could. Why is it that you think that people want to hear like this bogus music? And why is it that it seems like the bogus music is winning right now? I think that the, the, the people have to, they have to recognize the real. The people have to stand they have to up. Come, they have to stand up and they have to come back to their center. Bro. And the center, at the end of the day, is one God. I don't, it doesn't matter how you see him, what culture that, 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 that you're from. It's the same God. It's like the six and the nine. It's the same level, but from our perspective, you see a six and nah, that's see what, nine. Yeah, yeah, that's what he was saying. Takashi was saying that. That's yeah. a problem. Right. That's cool. That's, that's, I can relate to that. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, that's what we, that's what we gotta get back to. That toxic shit. Like, you know, that's what I'm talking about. If we do that, then we can start marching on to the plantation. That's the, that has to be first. And every marriage, business, every group. So I have to be the best actor, Latino queen. And how you have to be in touch with your enemies, your inner spirit. Figure out what it is that you stand for as a person. And how you can make a difference in the world every single day. Not just saying that, rah, 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 game, 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 all of that. Alright, cool. Now let's get to this money. Let's get to this bag. Let's get to this to that's this power. Fact. That's how we. That's, that's how fact. we affect change. You understand what I'm saying? You want to know about a man? You look at how he spends his time and his money. So the best way y'all can support artists on the come up that spit in the real is yo support. Buy a ticket. A ticket is only twelve dollars. All right. My next show. I'm going to work with AftonTickets.com again because I really do it like the way that they set the show up. So I'm going to work with them again. Listen, a ticket is only $12. If you get it cash from me, I'll come to your door and I'll, and we could do I'll knock on your door. Boom, boom, boom. We could do it right there. I don't mind making trips doing that. If you want to buy it online, you can go to AftonTickets.com slash KingTGreat and you can purchase tickets online. It's like $14.25. $14 and then there's different promo codes. Like you could text me on my number. My number is 347-893-9300. You could text me and, and get the promo code and you will um get like a dollar off or two dollars off. And um, if you wanna wait till you get to the door, it's fifteen dollars at the door. Like that's literally fifteen dollars. That's What's that? A, a, a dime bag, a dime bag, and a nickel. You know what I mean? Like, what's twelve dollars? Dime bag, support and, and it. Support it. Come to the next show. Like, you feel me? Like, come out to the next show. Like, you feel me? Show support from from young black entrepreneurs. Cause at the end of the day, without y'all. Without the the fans, without the support of the people, we lose y'all. Because look at what we're building. Look at what we're representing. Look at what we what we mean for the for the for the generations to come. That you could that you could take what you have. 
and the greatness of the world. That's where our purpose is in this world to be able to take over the earth and do it and multiply. So, get back to the sense of the world. Red pill, blue pill. That's Keep a fact, yo. Tell them about this track right here, Black Black, Black Inventors. Yo, you know what I'm saying? This, this is a deep track. This song is very real. I feel like it's a little underrated the way people don't really. I don't think people know it's really out there right now. Yo, it's our job to put this record out here. Black Inventors is a real big record. You know what I mean? We actually we, we did some research on Black Inventors from the past to the present. And, and we use our witty lyrics to plug in the different names to the different things that these black inventors did. And what they brought to the table, what they, what they invented, what people yeah. don't know that they invented, actually. Right. Like, it's a lot of black inventors that don't get spoken about, that don't get talked about. Like, like Dr. Shetty, he doesn't get talked about that much. You know what I mean? Yes. He's a modern day. Yeah, like, there's so many modern day uh, 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 people that that don't get the clout that they really should be because that's the people are not so on time with it. They're not getting promoted the way that they need. Yeah, exactly. So that's why we saying the people. This video right here, y'all gotta share this video. Share everything that you see that's related to this channel because this is what we saying right now. Right. That's a fact. That's a fact. Optimistic. That's a fact. I remember that was, that was like, yo, we used to write this, this, this track, Black Inventors. She's going to take over, so to my family, Pablo, I said, all right, I'm going to drop my verse. I said, Black Inventors, Black right Inventors, without y'all, who would I be? I mean, yo, shout out Black to all the homies, shout out my boy, uh, the the greatest is old so um, shout out my boy, Black Mac, Black Mac, Mac. Your Mac. Your Mac. Mind is a power yo, what up, Mac, I see you out here, I'm holding it down, you feel me, um, this is for my yo, yo, we out here doing this, bro. Shout out to everybody that came and supported that, like, like, everybody that came and getting a gift. Like, every time you purchase a ticket from me, you will get it. You will receive it. Because I really do appreciate it. That's real love. So I, I reciprocate real love with you. Black inventors, black inventors. Without y'all, who would I be? Black apprentice. Black inventions, the greatness is oh so seen. Black power, black matters, your mind is a powerful thing. This is for my black inventors. This is for my black inventors. This is for my black inventors. Black inventors, without y'all, who would I be? Black apprentice, black inventions, the greatness is oh so seen. Black power, black matters, your mind is a powerful thing. Put your fist up. Uh, overdosing with the real lie. Red pill, blue pill, keep it revolutionary. Like Sugar Hill, they personify cocaine and hooker hills. No more patents for pennies, you owe us mills. Lonnie Johnson made the super soaker. John Thompson developed language for computers. Shirley Jackson made an ID on your caller. More than an asset to the globe, don't let the devil fool you. Benjamin Banneker with the almanac, I see right through.